everyone, it's me, Beth from Year 2 Interior, and today I'm going to be doing a video about the architecture and interior design local to Norwich, also throwing in a slight spooky element of telling you a few ghost stories about certain parts of these places in Norwich. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get on with the video! Elm Hill is a historic cobble lane in Norwich, with many different buildings dating back to the Tudor period. It is a famous Norwich landmark and features the Britons Arms Coffee House, the Strangers Club and St Peter's Hungate Church. It has been used as a location for television and film productions, most notably for the 2007 film Stardust, also along with Netflix 2020 film Jingle Jangle. There is speculation about the possible age of the Britons Arms Coffee House and the use of the iconic Grade 2 listed building. For many years people thought the building was dated back to the 1420. However, an ongoing research sponsored by English Heritage puts back the date by 1347. The plan and the layout of the building are untypical of the age. The style relates more closely to the buildings of the Netherlands. It is one of the few remaining timber framed thatched buildings to survive in the city. Elm Hill is also home to one of Norwich's most colourful characters from the past, Father Ignatius. He was a preacher and a mystic who established a monastery in Elm Hill in 1863 and can still be seen there today. As welcomes come, Father Ignatius had a novel way of trying to encourage people to join him in prayer. If they turned him down, he would curse them and say to them that they would die. Elm Hill, of course, is one of the biggest jewels in Norwich's historic crown, a cobbled street which makes you feel as if you step back in time to gentler days. In fact, the street was plunged with problems. The Maidhead Hotel is known as one of the oldest hotels in the UK dating back to over 800 years ago. Situated in the historical centre of Norwich in the Cathedral Quarter, this independent four-star hotel boasts charms and individual character. To enhance its individual character even more, the hotel is currently undergoing a refurbishment of 84 bedrooms and is including installing a high-tech environmentally friendly compulsory heating system, as well as refurbishing the public areas, the main entrance, lounges and public toilets. Queen Elizabeth I of England was said to have slept in the hotel in 1587. It is reportedly haunted by a ghost of an elderly man, believed to be seen as a former mayor of the city, who has been seen shaking his head in the courtyard and the ghost of a former maid whose presence can be detected by a distinct musty lavender odour. Now for number three on the list. Number three is going to be Norwich Cathedral. Dedicated to the holy and undivined Trinity, it is a cathedral church for the Church of England and is one of Norwich's 12 heritage sites. The beginning of construction for Norwich Cathedral began in 1096 and was made out of flint and mortar and the face of a cream-coloured limestone. An Anglo-Saxon settlement and two churches were demolished to make room for this building. The cathedral was completed in 1145 with the Norman Tower still seen today topped with a wooden spire covered with lead. The large colister has over a thousand bosses. Norwich Cathedral has the second largest colister in England, only exceeds by those in Salisbury. The cathedral sphere, measuring up to 315 feet, that's 96 metres, is the ta second tallest in England despite being partly rebuilt after being struck by lightning in 1169. Just 23 months after it was completed, which led, to the, which led to the building being set on fire. There is no entry charge into Norwich Cathedral. All they ask is that visitors instead voluntarily donate to help cover the costs of running the cathedral each year. 
now to talk about some of the ghost sightings that have been seen at Norwich Cathedral. The main ghost story related to Norwich Cathedral actually made it into the news. It was a photograph taken in 2015 by a woman called Kerry Launders of a ghostly figure which many said looked like a bishop. It became widely believed to be one of the bishops buried in the cathedral grounds. Another ghost comes from stories from the 1736 where a man reportedly saw a ghost. Well, after seeing the ghost, the man then ran back to his inn. This is likely to be the Maid's Head uh, Hotel as it's right next door to Norwich Cathedral where he told the landlords what he had just seen. The traveller described the ghostly figure upon hearing the description. The landlord of the inn responded that it sounded like the Rev. Thomas Tornstall, a Catholic martyr, Tornstall was hanged, drawn and quartered outside what was likely Magdalene Gate and his body parts displayed throughout the city. It didn't seem he's been seen since, so hopefully it means he's found peace. Number four on our list is the Augustine Stewart House. The timber frame former house was originally built for Augustine Stewart, a wealthy mercer who was mayor of Norwich in 1534. It has a long range extending back from the street range and a small two-storey wing supported by two posts that projects over the entrance to the adjacent churchyard. During this time, it was only two storeys high. The upper floor was completely rebuilt in the early 17th century, most likely in response to the failure of the first floor embarrassment. This rebuilding saw a number of significant alterations, including the addition of the third floor. A number of windows survived from the rebuild. Its heaped gable roof is almost entirely modern, having been partly destroyed by a fire that happened in 1944. And that's all I have for you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and that you actually learned something from this video. If you wish to see any more videos like this from me, just put it down in the comments below. Again, my name's Beth, I'm from Second Year Interior Design and I hope to see you guys again soon. Have a happy Halloween! Bye!